What's up, family? This is Mikey from Islander. This is Chris from Islander. And we want you to know you're watching Between Silence and Surrender. It's been awesome. Um, we have gotten like probably two bad comments and the rest of them have been good. Which is two? Good. I, mean, I, I didn't find those. I don't even want to talk about them. Yeah, and, like literally just two though. Usually there's like 35 at least. But this time just two. But everything we've, we've heard from our fans has been amazing. Everybody's stoked on how heavy it is. Um, we have 10 guest artists on it that um, I don't think people expected us to have. Like Under Oath, Korn, Zayo, Living Sacrifice, Lacey, P.O.E. Hey, it keeps going. I don't know. Yep. It is, I can keep going and going. Fire from the Gods. See, I can't keep going. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we've, um, we've had a great time promoting it on this tour. It just came out like five or six days. Seven, maybe. Seven now. So, yeah. We've still got a lot of promotion to do. <laughs> Yeah, it's been good, man. The crowds have been amazing. Um, we run into some issues where we, we can't use like our normal setup or whatever, so we've just been playing punk rock style, and that's been great. They said it's, we were um, too loud, yeah. so that's why we play a stripped down version. So the rest of the tour, we're a very stripped down version of ourselves, but we are. We also can do that. <laughs> Fans. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we, we've been playing like a like a punk rock kind of what we call it, like just plug and play. And um, but yeah, it's been cool, man. We've been trying to hang out with all the bands and uh, get to know them, and it's been great. People like be meeting, seeing all the people that we've connected with in the past, and we've connected with a lot of new people, and um, that's the best part. Of me. That, yeah, that's seeing everybody. It's been years, yeah, like because like, of COVID and stuff. A good example of that. It was amazing. We were in Madison, Wisconsin uh, the other day for the release. It was the, the album released that night after we played at midnight. And we had so much of the Island of Family was there at the show. And we all walked to... Because, okay, so we wanted to go eat some food. The only thing open within walking distance was a McDonald's I like all night. McDonald's. Yeah. Well, yeah, we like McDonald's. <laughs> so we went there. We took everybody with us. And everybody, you know, bought, like, their own food and stuff. We were sitting there, and we all counted down to the release. Yeah. And it was so cool it to be in there. with Because we was, didn't plan that. And it was yeah. like, I was like, oh, my gosh, all of our all of our friends, you know, people that have, like, we've been, that have been jamming our music, we've become friends over the years. Like, it was emotional. It was, yeah, it, it was, was, like, emotional. Like, so, seeing. That was pretty cool. Seeing the people that got us to even that moment be there to yeah. experience the excitement with us. Yeah, so exactly. Usually I'm sitting there watching it hit on my phone like a single or something. And I'm like, in you're, the right, you're, you're lying in bed. Like, yeah. yeah and this time, just like, like, oh yeah, look, it dropped. It, this time it felt like, happy new year. It like, was, like, yeah. And there were like a ton of like college kids and stuff because it's like a college area. And there were so many other people in the McDonald's. And then Mikey, like, he like made a, made a speech and let everybody know, like, yo, our album just dropped. And everybody clapped for us. Yeah, so it was pretty rad. It was cool. good. The name of the, the album is It's Not Easy Being Human, and I think it's just straight to the point. Like, I think it's something everybody can relate to. Everybody's like, duh. Yeah, it's just, that's so like the cover. Chris actually got the idea. He hit up this artist, and we kind of did like this sci-fi thing where this robot is opening his chest, and you know, you see that they've connected him to humanity by giving him a real heart to fill. And you can kind of see some like teardrops coming down on his shoulder if you look real close, and he's just, He's living in the desert and kind of like, I don't know, I feel like that's a lot of us a lot of times in our lives, like living in the desert and we get kind of tired of being like, man, this 
kind of sucks sometimes having a heart that can like feel stuff and have emotions because sometimes I just want to rip people apart or I'm mad at them or whatever like whatever emotion it is and um, it's not easy being human so. yeah and I mean I look at it too it's like you see that, that cover art and he's like in a way a lot of times we're bound by so many things like um, that's pretty clear I mean that's like that's, what, you know, that's the one thing that I took from it um, just being bound and that, like you're in there but if you can, if you look at that piece of art like he's almost like what, you know whatever the story is behind that that being that, that person it's like the art's still there but you know there's so much of the of, like he's almost all gone we're submitted for some tours right now nothing's confirmed as of yet but we're about to confirm some stuff and we just we're gonna keep promoting the record. That's really yeah. it. We're gonna keep shooting music videos ourselves, um, just doing it live punk rock, doing music punk rock, and um, that's it.